When I was 16, like most, I had no idea what I was going to do with my life. And I thought that I'm naturally going to figure it out, so I wasted my time. And when I graduated high school, I still had no idea what to do with my life. So I took a gap year, and by the end of it, <laughs> I still had no idea what to do with my life. And so I almost got thrown into a university, which I didn't even want to go to, and I started working a job, which I straight up hated. And before I knew it, I had become an adult and I didn't even enjoy life anymore like I used to before. Is this all there is? A job you hate and barely any time or money to do anything else? This is the question I ask myself every single damn day. That life made me depressed as shit. But this is what happens when you make this mistake. Now the reason this happened is because I kept postponing it again and again. I didn't want to think about life because it made me worried. But here's the thing. If you don't take control of your life now, someone else will control your life in the future, whether you like it or not. It can be your parents, it can be a boss, it can be society itself, the societal norms. If you don't take control, they will control your life. If you don't find your own true purpose to your life and stay committed to achieving it, your life will spiral out of control. You're either working on your own dreams or somebody else's dreams. Remember this piece of wisdom. And here is my advice. Find out what you want and need to do with your life as quickly as possible. Don't wait around. Never postpone this decision, otherwise you deeply regret that you have lost control of your life, like I did. It would be easy for me to tell you. Hey, don't worry about it. Life figures itself out. It would be easy, but that would be a complete lie, just to make you feel good. The reality is that you have to figure it out starting today in order to avoid the trap. The way you figure out your life is by answering basically two questions. What life do I want? How do I get there? These are tough questions to answer, but the sooner you start, the sooner you actually manage to come up with a good answer. If you don't know what you want, someone else will tell you and force you into a life you didn't even want to live. This is what happened to me with working the job I didn't like. The best advice I can give you to figure this thing out is to just read and contemplate. In order to answer these questions, you need to know the available options in life and which option you would like to choose. Now, chances are you don't even know your options. You don't even know the amazing lives you could live. Your mind is not open to the possibilities. Did you know that you could be a digital nomad and travel the world? Did you know that you can be a surfer in Australia who lives on the beach? Did you know you could be a martial artist in Thailand? Did you know you could pretty much construct any life you wanted? But chances are you're limited to the local things that your parents and your local sort of city has told you about. Don't be limited. Don't limit yourself. To break the limits, you need to explore knowledge and think about it. Construct your own worldview of life and what you want will become very clear to you. But you must not allow foreign influence. Read books every day to do this. I know it sounds boring, but if you don't know what to do in life, it's because you lack knowledge of yourself or the world or both. Reading helps you understand the world. Thinking and introspecting on what you read helps you understand yourself. So when you know the world and you know yourself, you'll know what to do with your life too. I had no idea what to do with my life because I didn't know myself and therefore I did not know what I wanted. I also didn't know the world, therefore I didn't know the possibilities I could have. I only figured it out once I read enough books and did enough introspection. And to be honest, you know, if a friend, somebody younger than me, asked me to help him figure his life out, here is my honest advice. 
Take advantage of the digital revolution. Take it this way. Which life would you rather live? A life where you're stuck in the same place, there isn't much room for growth, and you don't particularly enjoy what you do, or a life where you can travel the world, growth is only capped by how hard you work, and you love what you do every day. Well, I just compared the traditional life path to the new life path. Why would you get yourself stuck in a career that is very rigid and low paying when you can work on what you love every day and get paid as much as you want through the internet? Don't get me wrong, you can work a regular job because it's not easy to make money online and everybody has to start somewhere. But honestly, long term, every man should consider getting rid of jobs which don't make you fulfilled and just figure it out online. It's much better, it's much more, there's much more freedom in it. There's much more potential, in my opinion. Now, if you're interested in what I said in the new life path, but you've never heard of this before, there is four videos I've linked in the description, which have completely changed my life. And I think every, everybody should watch these four videos. You can also join my free improvement community and just ask me for advice direct, but please, don't stay on your own. Watch these videos or join the community. Just do something. Learn about the new digital renaissance, the new world. But if I had to give you one key advice right here, right now, it would be this. Take advantage of the digital slash internet revolution or you are seriously going to get left behind in the world. I'm not saying this for FOMO or just to make you afraid. I'm not selling you, you know, a business or how to make money online. I'm not selling any of that. Please, this is very important. Just watch the, the four videos in the description. And the final bit of advice that really helped me is work hard. You have a lot of people now that you're young tell you that you shouldn't work very hard and instead you should enjoy your youth. The reality is though that he who does not work hard does not achieve much of anything. The best way to get stuck into a life of mediocrity is to not work hard when you're young. That's the best way. Never listen to anybody that tells you to not work hard because they're essentially giving you the advice to fail in life. That's terrible advice. Nobody who worked hard and attained success ever regretted it. So don't listen to anybody who tells you to not work hard. Also, you can work hard and have a ton of fun working hard on your ambition, your purpose, achieving success is more fun, honestly, than a video game. I played video games for years before, and now I am playing the real life game instead, and I'm trying to achieve my purpose. Real life is 10 times more fun than a video game. Imagine that. Working is what you're supposed to be doing as a man anyway. Every man should feel the emotion, in my opinion, of waking up every day and just straight up smashing the day, having productive day after productive day. You have no idea the amount of confidence and masculinity this shit builds in you. Now, going to bed tired but proud of what you did for the day is like the best feeling in the world. It's like the best feeling. Additionally, you can also work and have fun outside of work. You have 24 hours a day. If you cut out the bullshit like video games, scrolling, entertainment, and you only focus on work, health, education, and real life social experiences, your life will be 10 times more fun and more successful than if you kept wasting time, right? If you don't work hard and keep wasting time, you will live to regret it. You, you can regret playing video games because you were stuck in your room and you didn't build memories, or you can work hard and be happy that you achieved the success you desired. Choose wisely because you will die. Die a winner, not a loser. This is my advice for anybody between the ages of 16 and 20. Bye.